Good morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston. You're looking at the International Space Station flight control room from the uh, front corner of the room looking across the uh, top of the consoles uh, staffed by a team of flight controllers watching over all of the systems aboard the International Space Station. The, uh, crew, the uh, team today is led by Flight Director Ron Spencer who is uh, watching over the team throughout the uh, daytime hours which is the second half of the crew's day. He's joined by uh, Hal Getzelman, who is serving as the spacecraft communicator. The uh, link between this team and the crew on board the International Space Station. The uh, orbiting complex is approaching the uh, southwestern United States from the southwest, having just moved into an orbital sunrise, just about to move across the Baja Peninsula and then across the uh, central portions of the U.S., the Great Lakes region, and then out across northeastern Canada before making a swing across the North Atlantic. The next coastal crossing will be the coast of Spain and Europe. The crew uh, on board uh, enjoying their 140th day in space, 138 of those aboard the International Space Station. From left to right, Don Pettit, U.S. astronaut, uh, serving as a flight engineer. In the middle is the commander of Expedition 31, Oleg Kononenko. He is also the commander of the uh, Soyuz TMA 03M spacecraft in which the three uh, crew members arrived at this station back on December 23rd of 2011. And on the right is uh, from the Netherlands is on Andre Kuipers, representing the European Space Agency. All three gentlemen have flown in space previously. Uh, this is, uh, will be their longest duration uh, space flight. When they complete their mission, uh, they will have spent about 193 days in space. Today, the crew focused on experiment work and completed an onboard uh, training exercise and how they would respond in the event of, er of an emergency depressurization of the station. The crew also continued preparations for the arrival of two visiting vehicles, a Soyuz next week transporting three more colleagues, and the following week a new commercial cargo vehicle named Dragon. Pettit spent time loading software in one of the experiment racks for the Altia experiment designed to measure the effects of the exposure of crew members to cosmic radiation. It's designed to improve the understanding of the impacts that radiation has on the human central nervous system functions and will study the flashes from cosmic radiation that astronauts have reported since back in the Apollo days. Altia will also provide an assessment of the radiation environment in the International Space Station's cabin. Pettit also worked with Payload Operations Control Center in Huntsville, Alabama to uh, begin troubleshooting a synchronization issue between a reference clock and an atomic clock associated with the uh, SPHERES experiment designed to test a set of well-defined uh, instructions for spacecraft that are performing autonomous rendezvous and docking maneuvers. Along with Kuipers, Pettit discussed uh, the mission of Expedition 31 and life in space with the World Wildlife Fund. The uh, annual global conference is ongoing as we speak in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. The WWF is one of the world's leading conservation organizations, and it's working with more than 100 uh, countries around the world. With Kononenko, the crew also focuses on uh, safety and today conducted that onboard training exercise with Mission Control on procedures and how to respond in the event of a rapid depressurization of the station's cabin atmosphere. The exercise concluded with a debrief that was followed by the crew's lunch a little bit earlier this morning. Anticipating the arrival of three more station crew members, the Expedition 31 crew continued preparing for the Soyuz TMA 04M launch scheduled uh, for May 14th with arrival at the station on the 16th. Their arrival will restore the station's crew complement to six. SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is scheduled to launch May 19th and it will be delivering some supplies to the International Space Station and the crew is continuing to do some pre-pack uh, exercises, items that will be returning home on that uh, newest cargo vehicle, the first commercial spacecraft to visit the International Space Station.